This set of AFE hot and cold side turbocharger piping are larger and more efficiently designed than stock to give your 2015 to 2016 F-150 a nice boost in horsepower and torque. To gain access underneath the truck, remove your plastic shield underneath the front bumper. Our aftermarket bumper requires us to remove the skid plate for access. Now that we have room to work under the truck, we started by loosening the connections on the hot and cold side turbo piping. Now loosen the hot side turbo connections from the turbos themselves. The driver's side turbo can be reached from underneath the truck and the passenger side from the wheel well. For more room to pull out our charge pipes, we must remove the air intake. We have an upgraded AFE unit, but the stock removal will be very similar. A few clamps in the air sensor will allow it to be uninstalled. Also after the intake is out, the engine cover can be lifted from the motor after unscrewing the oil cap. Lastly for the driver's side, unclip the two vacuum lines and the stock charge pipe can be removed with a little patience. Swap out the stock coupler for the new AFE coupler, then attach the first section of the new driver's side charge pipe. After it is bolted to the turbo, Drop in the second section of the new charge pipe with the supplied coupler. Being in two separate sections allows for fine tune adjustments when the pipe connects to the intercooler. We then unbolted the coolant overflow to be able to move it around for more room to access the cold side tubing. Unclip the air sensor and vacuum line from the cold side charge pipe, then unscrew it from the coupler at the throttle body. Pull it from the coupler and drop it out from the bottom of the truck. Then transfer over the air sensor to the new charge pipe with new hardware. Install the new charge pipe through the bottom of the truck and up to the throttle body coupler. Tighten it down and plug in the air sensor and vacuum line. Then the coolant overflow can be bolted back down. On the passenger side, unclip the small hose from the side of the turbo inlet pipe so we can move it aside for more access to the hot side piping. There is also one hose connection to disconnect on the hot side pipe. Once it is off, remove the charge pipe. Attach the barbed fitting to the AFE pipe, then it can be dropped into the truck and attached to the turbo. Reconnect the vacuum line to the AFE charge pipe as well as the turbo inlet. Then the intake is ready to be dropped back in. Reuse the stock couplers with the hot side tubing and connect the charge pipes to the intercooler.
Tighten down the clamps on the piping, then reconnect the EVOV vent tube. The cold side charge piping comes with a new coupler to use to connect to the intercooler. Lastly, replace your plastic shield underneath the truck, or skid plate in our case, and the installation is finished.